Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to tell you a story about Paul and Silas who were missionaries for Jesus. Does anyone know what a missionary does? They travel all over walking or riding on donkeys telling people about Jesus. They told many many people about Jesus. Some were very happy to hear and others were angry because they liked being evil and knew by what they were told that Jesus would forgive them and they would become nicer people and they didn't like that idea at all. Today's story is called The Prisoners, The Earthquake and The Midnight Song. The Prisoners, The Earthquake and The Midnight Song. Listen, do you hear it? A sound like someone sawing logs. A sound coming from a prison. A prison in Philippi. The jailer is snoring. He's fast asleep and his prisoners are all safely locked up for the night. But there's another sound. Do you hear it? It's coming from the very middle of the prison, the place from which no one escapes. And it's coming from two of the prisoners. Listen closely. Are they moaning and groaning? They could be. Their backs are bruised with the beating they were given. Their feet are locked up in stocks. But that's not it. Listen again. Are they complaining? They could be. They really shouldn't be there, you see. They were only helping a slave girl they met while walking through Th Philippi. They were helping her through the power of Jesus, who died so we can be forgiven, who came back from the dead so we can live forever, and who sent his Holy Spirit so we can follow him as our king. But her masters got angry and had them thrown in jail. Listen once more. Listen closely. Do you hear it? A simple tune, a set of words. They're singing. That's what they're doing. Singing songs of praise to God and every other prisoner in the jail is listening to them. Their names are Paul and Silas and they have come to Philippi to tell everyone there about Jesus who died so we could be forgiven, who came back from the dead so we can live forever and who sent his Holy Spirit so we can follow him as our king. And even though they don't deserve to be in jail, they trust God and they are taking this chance to tell the other prisoners about him. Hang on, do you hear it? There's another sound. It's a rumbling sound, a grumbling sound, a sound from deep beneath the prison, a sound rising up from the ground. A sound like a shouting chorus to their songs. It's an earthquake. That's what it is. It shakes the walls and the floors. It knocks the doors off their hinges and locks from off the stocks. And now every prisoner is free. But then, listen. Do you hear it? The sharp scraping sound of a sword being drawn from its scabbard. It's the jailer's sword. He's wide awake now. And do you hear it? He's crying. You see, if the jailer's prisoners escape, then he must die. That's the law in Philippi. And when he sees the doors thrown open, he is sure that all his prisoners are gone. So he takes his sword to take his own life. And all he can think of is how he will miss his wife and his son and his daughter. But before he can do that, there is another sound. Listen, someone is shouting. Don't hurt yourself. We are all still here. The jailer can hardly believe it. So he grabs a torch and picks his way through the rubble to the middle of the prison to see for himself. And when he realises that all the prisoners are indeed still there, he falls down at the feet of Paul and Silas. There is something different. Something special about these men. These foreigners who have come to Philippi with their stories about Jesus. So the jailer leads them out of the prison. And listen, he has a question for them. What must I do to be saved? And Paul and Silas have an answer. Believe in the Lord Jesus. That's how you'll be saved. You and everyone who lives in your house. Then they tell the jailer all about Jesus, who died so we can be forgiven, who came back from the dead so we can live forever, and who sent his Holy Spirit so we can follow him as our king. And everyone in his house listens too, his wife, his daughter, 
his son and his servants. And listen, do you hear it? The splishing, the splashing, it's water. The jailer washes Paul's and Silas's wounds and then Paul and Silas baptise the jailer in water and everyone in his household too. Then they all sit down for a tasty meal and listen, do you hear it? A simple tune, a set of words, they're singing. Not just Paul and Silas, but the jailer and everyone else in his house. They're singing and praising God because now they all believe in Jesus. And listen, do you hear it? The sound of voices, millions of voices speaking in different languages all around the world, in cities and towns, in farms and villages, in shops and factories, and yes, in prisons as well. People telling other people about Jesus and how they can be saved. The same Jesus and the same Holy Spirit that Paul and Silas told the jailer about. And listen, do you know what you can do? You can tell people about Jesus too. Did you enjoy that story? It was a wee bit scary in places. Paul and Silas were put in prison because of what they were saying. The jailkeeper was told he would be killed if they escaped. So he tied their feet together with chains so they couldn't walk or run very easily. They were cold and hungry and very sad in prison. But do you know what they did? They prayed and sang songs to God because they loved him and knew he was there with them even if they were not in their favourite place. Do you know God is with you even when you are sad or scared? All the prisoners could hear Paul and Silas singing and praising God and the jailkeeper fell asleep. All of a the sudden there was the big earthquake. Their chains fell off their feet, they were freed and the doors of the prison opened. The jailer awoke from his sleep and held out his sword to stab himself when Paul and Silas said, We didn't run away, don't kill yourself. The jailkeeper was surprised and knew the reason they were so kind is that they knew Jesus. He asked, how might I know him? Paul and Silas were very happy to tell him all about Jesus and the jailer asked him into his heart. Then the jailer took Paul and Silas home to his house, cleaned up his wounds and he and his family had a lovely meal with Paul and Silas. Isn't that a wonderful story? Because Paul and Silas loved Jesus and trusted him. The jailer and all his family will live forever with him too. Now, I'm going to make show you how to make a paper chain. It's much nicer than the prisoner chains. So, you can cut out strips of coloured paper or white paper. And if you cut out, if you have white paper, you can decorate it with your felt tips or crayons. So take one of your strips of paper or card Fold it round and stick it with some sellotape. Then take another colour and put it through. Fold it round and put some tape on it. Then continue with another colour and do the same. Another colour and then another one. And you end up with a lovely paper chain. Now you can put that up in your house and that will remind you of the story of Paul and Silas. Bye.
Into the 